The state and the House of Representatives have reacted to allegations of budget delay and budget pardon of the 2019 budget of the Niger Delta Development Commission, the NDDC. The acting managing director of the commission, Kemer Bradikumo Ponde, and the executive director of project, Cairo Ojogbo, made the allegations in separate interviews. They both claimed that the lawmakers inserted over 500 projects into the 2019 budget of the commission and are am twisting the interim management committee, the RMC, for, from carrying out a forensic audit as directed by President Buhari. And joining us to help us on bond with the story is legal practitioner Chima Naji. Thank you, Chima, for joining us on the news. Thank you very much, and uh, good evening, viewers. Yet another budget pardon saga. What's your perspective on the growing feud between the NDDC and the National Assembly? It's uh, really very sad that uh, the people of Niger Delta would always be sacrificed at the altar of a uh, certain degree of greed among politicians. There has been a lot of uh, query money among uh, the peoples of uh, Niger Delta that um, development has eluded them in spite of the fact that they produce the cash cow of this economy. It is very sad that even at this moment in our experience, where we are all reminded how mortal we are by this ravaging pandemic, that people are still so much engrossed in the issue of greed and corruption. Pardon is a very, very, uh, very well-known vehicle by which business is done. Well, business on, in quote, at the National Assembly. They say that uh, they have oversight functions and what have you. And uh, the problem now is that we do not know who is saying the truth because they are alleging that uh, the committee or the body that has just been brought in in acting capacity to right the wrongs of the past are themselves indulging in the same scene that uh, occasioned the removal of the last uh, uh, management. And then uh, the counter accusation of uh, padding and the uh, insertion of uh, projects and so on. Definitely something must be wrong because it takes two to tango. If when the tango does not pull through, then there will be quarrel. That's why armed robbers are caught in some cases. Mr. Naji, uh, not... yes. among other yes. allegations, the managing director of the commission, Professor Kemer Ponde, says 50% of the commission's inability to deliver its mandate came from the strong, the stranglehold of the National Assembly on the commission. What's your reaction to that? My reaction is that it is good for them to make these counter allegations and allegations. In the process, the truth will come out because um, if there is uh, peace and concord uh, among thieves, the society will be the worst for it. But where is there, there is disagreement, then it will be telling the extent to which it has uh, committed the infraction. So my, my take is that uh, let, let the disagreement continue. And if anyone that uh, feels aggrieved, either as an institution or as an individual, uh, you should go and ventilate that in the court. I do not agree that, uh, like some people, I think some of the legislators are saying that they are waiting for somebody to go to court. What makes it uh, difficult for them to go to court themselves if they feel, feel that they are being impugned in terms of their character? It's been one allegation another after another allegation, and strong allegations were leveled against the chairman of the two NDDC committees in the Senate and the House of Representatives, with requests made for an investigation into their motives, which the IMC claims most members of their committees were not aware. Now, Professor Kemmer also talked about pressure mounted not to send certain files for forensic audit. What will be a likely motive here? Well, you see, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, most of the time we see the pregnancy, but we don't know who uh, did the job, whether it was legitimate or not. So some of the reference you have that is, uh, is the pardon. Some people are even saying that uh, the NDDC officials don't know or understand legislative functions of uh, oversight. Uh, these things are just playing to the gallery. The issue is that there's corruption on both sides. Whether the new uh, management has descended to that level is uh, something that uh, we will see. If anybody has any allegation that can be proven, let the person come forward. This is an opportunity to save the Niger Delta people from the ravaging embarrassment that has become that commission, because that commission was intended to 
uh, alleviate their poverty and suffering. And you can now see that it has become a, a, a bazaar of sorts, where even people from outside that area uh, are able to reach the post before the thing descends to the people uh, that it was uh, meant for. So my take is that um, this feud is very good and let it play out fully. Mr. Naji, on the one hand, they accuse the National Assembly of not only bastardizing, but delaying passage of the Commission's 2019 budget until it was too late for it to be implemented. On the other hand, the House say they needed delayed submissions, estimates. Now, the SME's behavior that's delaying the 2020 budget, as briefly as you can, help us understand these counter accusations. Well, you see, um, just like uh, if you were uh, used to traveling on the road, a security officer might ask you for your particulars and you give him, it's a legitimate demand. When you give him your particulars, names of a vehicle license, driver's license, and so on, he will he, he just uh, abandon you and go checking other vehicles. And uh, if you are in a haste, you, you will not be advised what to do. You will take the initiative. So also, uh, this, it is what you have that you used to bargain. The only unfortunate thing in this country is that we do it to the discomfiture of the very essence of our being called for that particular position. There is absolutely no reason why the NDDC Commission ordinarily, if they themselves have clean hands, should conduce and condescend to the level certain rapacious individuals in the legislature would want them to come down to. And sometimes, too, the overture might be made from those people who are at the helm in order to be able to get free passage and uh, certain leverages in terms of figures that they actually do not intend to deploy for service. So why I said let this feud go on, let us once and for all disgrace all the parties that are involved and banish the possibility of a recurrence. Thank you, Practitioner Suman Naji. It's been a pleasure having you join us on the news. Thank you very much.